Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another curated bead box. This is a $20 monthly subscription, and I have a coupon code for you to get 35% off your first box. Use code AGERM35. I'm going to put a link to the curated bead box down there below in the description bar, and I'm also going to put the coupon code down there below in the description bar. Now, I got a note this month, and it says... Hi there, please specify that this new box, Dusk in the Woods, is the March box because it is getting out of alignment with the actual dates that the box is being sent. Lisa curated the box. So I was wondering, am I the only one that has the date off? And so I went on to YouTube and I searched curated bead box openings. And I saw like seven seven different YouTube channels. And there is five of us that have the date wrong on this box. There's five of us that is actually a month ahead. There was only two people that had the right dates. And that's just what YouTube showed me. There could have also been more people that opened the box and that just was not popping up. Anyways, so I was a month ahead. So the box that I did last month, I put March on that and it was actually February's box. But anyways, um, there's no way for me to go back and fix all of those. I cannot, yeah, I can change the title in those videos, but I can't change the pictures. And all the pictures that I do, I put the, and I, I, you know, I take the time, I take nice pictures, and I put the month in the picture. Anyways, I don't know how I screwed this up. Now, I think it was last year in the summertime. I actually was not sent a box. I think it could have been June's. I'm not sure. Like June, July, maybe August. But it was actually a blessing because at that time I had so much stress and anxiety and things going on in my life that even if the box came, I don't even know if I could have filmed it. So it was actually a blessing that I did not receive the box. But I've been trying to figure out where did I screw up. I have to go back through my videos and try to find the date where I started doing it wrong or did I just start doing it wrong from the beginning I don't know but I do have a request curated bead box if you're watching this video please put the month on the box you do such a wonderful job designing this label here and if you look closely you can see the woods there's a picture here with woods and um, you go through the trouble to take a beautiful pictures and the names here, the codes. All I ask is that you just put the month on the box because that would help me out a lot and also help other people. So let's get into this. This is, I better check. This is March's box, okay. Let's see what we got. Um, on the picture, I'm loving these orange and the green peanut looking beads. These look awesome. The owl looks, looks amazing. I like these metal beads. But every time I open this box, there's always little surprises. So, let's see what we're going to get. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are really cool. These are really cool. I like both of these. There's a ton of beads in these bags. That's a lot of beads. I can't wait to check those out. Oh my gosh, that's cool. This is pretty. This, I think this is glass, but man, does it look like jade. Beautiful. Oh wow, I like these a lot. Those are really cool. Crystals. Okay, I'm gonna dump them. My cat loves playing with this uh, tissue paper. I make a roll it into a ball and she plays with it. Okay. These are cool. These would make awesome rings. Giant rings. The awesome rings. So there's a baggie. He's so cute. Go out. These are beautiful. I wonder why there's a teardrop in there. And then we got metal beads. These are precious. 
I think I have this in my stash, but I want to say mine are bigger than that. It's like six millimeter. I think mine might be eight. Cute little metal beads. Okay. And we have more bags this month. It's usually more strands. Oh, I love those. I really love those. Okay, so. A lot of bags. So that's the biggest strand, and then this one. That's really cute. And then this one. And this is the bag of findings. Okay, now that I'm organized, let's go to the box. Strands first. 10 millimeter orange apple green crackle frosted duo bead six inch string that's this one this looks really neat it's a very unique I like how frosty it looks like this bead is a clear crystal mat and then they paint it but this actually looks this looks like the Czech version. These and Czech glass aren't painted. It's this color all the way through. It's like a drug, but um, that one there, it almost looks like it's not painted. It's really nice. Okay, I love this one. Eight millimeter green orange. That's what I thought this one was gonna say. It's like orange apple. Green orange duo style glass bead. Ten and a half inch string. This is really pretty. I love these marbled ones a lot. Two colors. And then it, there's this uh, marbled look on it. It's really pretty. So cute. And then this six millimeter, six millimeter, fern jade style glass bead, sixteen inch string. This looks so much like jade. really does and look at how good these two go together those are nice okay and then what's next now we're going to the baggies the peanut beads it's funny that that's what it's actually called because that, that's instantly when I thought of peanut beads when I looked at the label but sometimes it's a different name approximate one ounce eight by four millimeter that's a unique size aqua peanut glass beads Okay, these look green. So let's bust them out of the baggie and see what it looks like. Wow. These are so cool. So I've seen, or I've got, vintage Czech peanut beads. And the hole is in the center, not long ways. These would look amazing strung up. They're really cool. You know, I think it would be awesome to put chain on them in the middle, like jump rings. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be really neat. Those are awesome. I can't believe they give us this many. I wonder what other colors they have these available in. I really love these. Okay, hopefully the orange one's next. Approximate one ounce, eight by four millimeter orange peanut glass bead. Am I gonna like the orange one more? So these were kind of matte, and these are two. Um, I don't think that these beads are painted, by the way. They're actually a little dirty. This one's shiny. Yeah, they look frosted like they're matte, but look. I just rubbed the dust off of that and it's a shiny bead. Do you see how there's light orange in the middle? It's kind of like a white heart um, check glass seed beads. That's what it's kind of like. Those are amazing. So these are actually shiny. I just need to clean them up a little bit. But look at how they have these really neat bright orange centers. These are so darn awesome. There's a necklace I'm thinking of right now that I would like to use those in. And there's a necklace I've been wanting to do a tutorial on. 
using basic beads that everybody pretty much has, I actually want to go back to this one and look at the hole more. This one didn't have light and dark holes. And let me see. Um, this bead is kind of matte. I don't think it's painted. I mean, the only way to really know is to scratch it with a knife. But putting it up to the light, like if, if this was painted, we would see a white or clear center, and I don't see that. Those are really pretty. Th such a rare, unique shade of green. Never see that color. Okay. These are definitely faves. Next thing is 14 millimeter milky white crystal glass bead mix. Six beads. This one? Or this one? Or is it mix? No? It's this one. Oh, I can barely see these in the picture. So, it's back here because it's a white background. It's hard to see. Well, these are really cool. These are very nice quality. The beads that they have in bags like this, they're almost like check quality. See the holes, how clean, smooth. These look so vintage. Or antique. Those are very beautiful. Do you guys feel that matte beads scuff easily? Makes me think I should store them in a bag by themselves. Because I do wonder about that. Especially the light colors. I don't really see it with the black. Okay, what's next? After that, 20 by 12 millimeter drop. What? Alright, so it said the first one was 14 milky white crystal glass bead mix. So that was this one. And it said six beads. That's what threw me off because there's more than six beads in here. Yeah. So this is actually 20 by 12 millimeter drop milky white matte glass bead, six beads. So this one here has some extra beads. It's supposed to be six beads. Yeah, I have eight. So these are milky too, but they are shiny. And this little connector thing here is so cool. Um, I've had these before. I had a bigger one and I made a bracelet with it. They're awesome for bracelets. You wire wrap them. I did a technique where I wire wrapped it out in the... I don't think it was the same shape. I think the one that I had had a flat side and then a pointed side. But I figured out how to wire wrap it in a really cool pattern. I don't know. You go watch the video and learn how to do it. Okay, after that... 14 millimeter luster electroplated glass bead mix. Six beads. So one of these is faceted. Is that an accident? You know, there's so many times where I make a design and I only need one bead and it just works out. The necklace that I just did a tutorial on, I'll put a picture up now in case you missed it. Um, I pretty much used like all of the beads in each color to make that. It, it worked out so well. These are gorgeous. This bead is actually clear. If you put it up to the light, you could see light through it. And they put this electroplating over it. They're beautiful. Um, some are bigger. These are big. And these ones are smaller. I think I would like to put these in a stretchy bracelet. It would look awesome with the lava, the lava beads. Alrighty, what's next? What am I going to screw up now on the list? 
18 millimeter crystal faceted glass bead, two beads. Oh, these. So this is a new item. Those are new items. These have monster holes. You could put like a two, three millimeter cord through there. The holes are enormous, but look what I'm noticing here. See here, there's a flat side, right? And then back here, the hole is through here, right? Like, I think that's how it's supposed to be. But this one, the flat side's here, and then the hole's going through that direction, so that one's different. I think these would be really cool for a ring, a wire ring. And the hole is so big, you would have to pass either very thick gauge or several wraps of wire through there. But those would be awesome. There's no baggie. I should put them in here though, so they don't get broken. Okay, after that, 34 by 26 millimeter owl rhinestone silver pendant. This little guy is so cute. I like that it's multicolored gemstones. That is so precious. And he's sitting on a branch, too. Wow, it's really, really thick metal. Look at how thick that is. It's actually not that heavy, but it's really thick. That's very cute. Okay, after the owl, a 6mm flower silver metal spacer bead. 20 beads. That might be this one or this one. And then the next one, a 6mm flower silver metal bead. Spacer bead, 15 beads. And then 4mm flower silver, silver metal spacer bead, 20 beads. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all of these. So... I think this one's my favorite flower because it reminds me of the Czech Hawaiian flowers. They love know so much. It's really cute. Super cute. Nice size hole. These beads are really heavy. Solid. Beads are not hollow. nice and then here's another one this one's a rose at least I think it's a rose okay cute and then this one's a four millimeter so the other two were six this one says it's a flower too I didn't think it was a flower. It doesn't look like a flower to me, but it's very pretty, whatever it is. I don't know if it's like a little Chinese symbol or what, but it's cute. It does have small holes. Alright, so here's the materials in this box, and I'm going to go to the findings. In case you were new to this, this awesome kit comes in every box. So this is the memory wire. I love making memory wire bracelets with this box. There's several rows there. There's bead stringing wire. I actually use this wire a lot because it's already cut for me. If I'm making a long necklace, it's just easy to grab that. And this is their elastic cord, which is very good quality. It's really strong. It hasn't broken on me, but I don't know how long it lasts for because I haven't um, done this box long enough to know the lifespan of the cord. To know if it's as good as the Griffin elastic cord that I love. This is crimp beads, lobster claw clasp, earring findings, head pins, and jump rings. Alright, so here's everything that's coming in this month's kit. It's a very different 
color mix. I don't think I would put these colors together, but I do love the individual beads. Like these are awesome. I would love to have these in more colors. There's a ton in each bag and for a dollar each, that is a killer deal. I think these teardrops are amazing. I never see stuff like that. It's really pretty. These are gorgeous. The metal beads are ador adorable. I really like this style of bead here. It's really pretty. And this is it. I'm going to link the curated bead box down there below in the description bar. And I'm also going to put the coupon code down there in case you're interested in getting this box. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and follow me in my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.